just as Pedroia clears the bases with a three-run double. I've heard everything from scouts. Caught out in second by Pedroia. He's too small. What a play. He doesn't have any bat speed. There's a high drive, left field by Pedroia. I don't have any power. Pedroia has gone deep in consecutive at-bats against Casimir. I can care less what they think. Dustin Pedroia is incredibly hot. In a sport where the most valuable player award is usually the domain of larger-than-life power hitters, Dustin Pedroia has spent a lifetime striving to measure up. How tall are you, seriously? <laughs> like, I mean, because, you know, I'm not that tall, and I feel like, uh, you know, Will Chamberlain <laughs> next to you. Being Dude, I, no, I got, I got, I did, we got our physical the other day, and I, was, I measured at 5'8", on the dot, 170 pounds. At 25 years old, and after just two full seasons in the major leagues, the undersized Boston Red Sox second baseman already finds himself on a short list in baseball history. Pedroia is one of only eight players ever to win Rookie of the Year, Most Valuable Player, a Gold Glove, and a World Series ring. He is a pain in the ass. Uh, when he comes up to the plate, uh, you know you're in for a fight. Who does he remind you of? Wow, that's hard because I never see a Little man with that kind of talent. The way he played the game, we all mean Pete Rose. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't compute. His stature is it's just, it takes you back because you wouldn't have this situation in the NBA or, or the NFL kind of thing. The MVP could be a guy who looks like that. Appropriately enough, Pedroia excels at playing small ball. In 2008, he led the American League in runs scored and stole 20 bases in 21 attempts. His size, or lack thereof, guides Pedroia's old-school approach to the game. Safe! No, no! I'm always going to be diving for everything. Um, that's just who I am, and it doesn't matter how big or tall you are. You know, if you want to win and you want to play this game, then you can do it. This guy's a winner. He's never been denied in his career. He's probably had people tell him his whole life you can't. And he loves telling them, oh, yes, I can. Considered too small, Pedroia went undrafted out of Woodland High near Sacramento, California. Instead, he went to Arizona State, where he twice earned National Defensive Player of the Year honors as a shortstop and batted 384 over three seasons. Still, he was mostly overlooked by major league teams. If you look at the way that teams evaluate hitters, particularly amateur hitters, they look at five tools. The hit tool, power, running speed, fielding, and arm. And Pedroia didn't grade out well in any of those tools except for the hit tool. The Red Sox front office, though, was enamored enough to select him in the second round with the 65th pick of the 2004 draft. Determined to prove he belonged, Pedroia added bulk and weight prior to his first Major League Spring training camp in 2006. He was overweight, he was out of shape, and he was kind of fat. He had one at bat, he threw his shoulder out, he's like, you gotta be kidding me. Now, this is the kid that we, all these guys have been bragging about. As a late season call up, Pedroia's average resembled his weight. He hit 191 in 89 at bats. That's better, Dustin. That's a good mix. In the offseason, Pedroia lost 25 pounds and transformed his body. Yet after the first month of the 07 season, his average stood at 172. They're about to send me to AAA, and you know, the, the fans, they're like, who's this little guy? You know, that he can't play. He was out by plenty. What was that like for you to struggle that badly? Um, it was tough. You know, my biggest thing when I get in trouble is I try too hard. I wanted to hit a home run every time I was up, and, and it just wasn't working out. Struggling to establish himself as a major leaguer, Pedroia became a target in Red Sox Nation. We were in a, a taxi heading to Fenway for a game, and uh, the sports talk radio was on, and they were saying a bunch of bad things about Dustin, maybe wasn't the right guy for the job, this and that. So the cab driver went to turn it down, and Dustin said, no, 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 go ahead and turn that back up. And it was kind of like fuel to the fire for him. All the reporters are talking about, oh, you, he's got a big swing, he can't do this here. And I'm thinking to myself, they don't know anything about hitting. All they do is watch the game and then write about the game. They don't know how to play it. We were talking back and forth. I said, you are five foot two. You can't run. You can't throw. You're not going to hit the ball very far. Remember where you are. You're in the big leagues. How did you get there? Slow down a little bit. Just be who you are. And sure enough, 
He, he texts me back, I'm about to put the Red Sox Nation on my back. <laughs> Who says that? Another multi-hit night for Dustin Pedroia. Striking back at his critics with his trademark violent swing, Pedroia jump-started his career, hitting 417 over the next six weeks on his way to being named Rookie of the Year. There's a drive hammer to left field. Dave Crawford back looks up. You can forget about this one. As an encore in 2008, Pedroia played gold glove defense and became the seventh player to lead the American League in hits, doubles, and runs, earning MVP honors. My whole life, I mean, I've just grabbed the bat. You know, I mean, I hold my finger up, which is a little different, and I try to get that pitch, and I swing as hard as I can and just try to hit it. When I first saw him and he swung that hard, I said, man, he's going to have to change his swing. But the more you see him play, the more you realize that uh, he knows what he's doing in the batter's box. There's an intangible thing about the way he understands the game, the way he hustles, the, uh, uh, the power that he produces. He's a bad ball hitter. He's a good ball hitter. It's clear for me, and I think for a lot of the industry, what we missed. The hand-eye coordination, the grinding out of at-bats, fouling off balls in the outer half. I think Pedroia is essentially a once in a decade, maybe once in a generation type of player. The desire to overcome his physical limitations created an edge that Pedroia brings to the game and to life. He's loud, he's abrasive, but, but he's very true to himself. It's not made up, it's, you know, um, he can say things that other people can't. I'm mic'd up, don't say anything stupid. Definitely a big um, smack talker. He's the one that kind of gets everything started. It doesn't matter who you are, you're fair game. Did you guys just win the national championship? Don't get used to it. Oh no, we're teeing off on you right now. Pedroia's brashness gained more public notoriety after an April 2009 Boston Magazine article. Of Alex Rodriguez, he said, that guy is a dork. Asked about his hometown of Woodland, California, he responded, it's a dump. And he added, what do you want to stay in Woodland for? The place sucks, causing a local furor. You know, it put a big black eye on us. And with this economy, the last thing we need is to take dollars out of the community. I just felt that someone needed to fire back. The situation escalated to the point Pedroia's parents received a death threat at the tire store they own in the center of town. Pedroia, who refused to discuss the situation with E60, apologized, saying he was laughing and joking when he made the comments about his hometown. I truly believe he, he does care about this town. We seem to forget there's a reason why he is where he is. Uh, that chip on the shoulder, that cockiness he, he, he uh, plays with oftentimes gets carried outside of the field. Pedroia's stature in the game now looms large. In the offseason, he signed a six-year, $40.5 million contract extension and became the cover boy for a Major League Baseball video game. Even this most high-profile of endorsements amusingly questions Pedroia's skills. MLB 09 The Show thinks I can't hit the high and inside fastball. You're going to fix that, right? He was the MVP, he was the Rookie of the Year, he won a Silver Slugger, he won a Gold Glove. There's not a lot of doubters anymore. I'm sure he'll go out and find somebody just to give him a little extra drive. You still feel like you have to prove people wrong? Uh, Even now? Yeah, absolutely. There's Why? You, I mean, who's doubting you now? There's always people, man. People are crazy. People always have their, their opinions. I'm not the biggest guy, not the strongest guy, but I'm going to play the game how I want to play it. And if you don't like it, then you'll start to like it.